Hey everybody, so I thought I'd drop a little surprise review video. Uh, typically when I make these videos I, don't, I really only have time uh, to do one once a week. Uh, my schedule and work and everything just doesn't really allow me uh, the time to do more than one video per week. But today I had some plans cancelled and here I am. Got some extra time so I figured why not do a review. Uh, so today we are starting off with the first of the Alien Force Aliens. Like I mentioned in my last video, I completed the original series Aliens with that one, and now we are starting on Alien Force. Uh, so today I'll be taking a look at Alien Force Ben, Swampfire, Echo Echo, and Humongousaur. So let's get going in on that and get started. So let's get going on in uh, Alien Force Ben here. The articulation, he does have the 360 head swivel. He has the 360 shoulder joint, so that goes all the way around. And then he actually has some elbow articulation. Moving down the arm, there is no wrist movement, so it's just that shoulder joint and the elbow joint. Uh, which a lot of the original series figures, probably most of them, did not have that elbow joint. I think uh, going into these Alien Force figurines, you, you will see this more. Um, a lot more of them had that elbow joint, um, so it's it's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice touch there with the, these newer figurines. Uh, newer in terms of you know overall scheme of Ben 10 figurines. These are newer than the original series. Um, they did start adding that elbow joint, so we'll be seeing that more. Uh, and then moving down to the legs, he's got the typical uh, hip joint. It goes forward and goes backwards. Then he's got the knee joint. It goes about 90 degrees back and then doesn't really move forward, but that's how knees are. So goes back and then nothing else in the feet or legs. So pretty standard articulation on this guy. Um, like I said, we'll be seeing that elbow articulation more. And then uh, paint and detailing though, not too bad. And you can see there's, a, there's not a whole lot to get wrong with this guy. I mean, green jacket, black shirt, blue jeans, pretty basic. Do a close up of the face there. That all looks really nice. The detailing on his eyes and the eyelashes and the eyebrows, everything's painted really well. You can see his lips and his nose are sculpted well. All the ruffles in his hair and the part and everything. And once again, I think they did a good job of bringing Ben to life. This is a good looking figurine. You got the details on the shoe. Folds in the jeans. They even got folds in the shirt. You can see that some wrinkles in the black shirt. Obviously, I've got some pretty bad scuffs on this guy. And then there's the Omnitrix. It is missing some paint detail. Um, there should be some black there, and uh, so it is lacking in paint on the Omnitrix, but other than that, the rest of the figurine is painted pretty well and everything looks good. Just a little tiny Omnitrix there. So, that's about it for Ben. Um, one thing I want to mention with these figurines, uh, with Alien Force, um, so the original series would come with a couple like animation discs, I've, I've talked about them before, I've explained those a couple times. Uh, so they would come with a couple of those animation discs with every figurine. Now starting with Alien Force, they dropped those and they started coming out with um, like trading cards. They were character trading cards for each alien or character. Uh, and then they also came with um, little holographic figurines that you could attach to uh, the Omnitrix, the, the Omnitrix toy that they came out with. So as we all know in Alien Force and Ultimate Alien, uh, the Omnitrix would pop up a hologram instead of having the silhouette on the watch. 
So that's what they were trying to replicate there. Uh, the toys would come with the little hologram figurine and then you'd have to buy the Omnitrix toys separately to connect them and it would light up and there'd be voices and all sorts of fun. So that's what these figurines came with. Um, they, they changed the accessories a bit starting with these. So the next guy is the face of Alien Force in a lot of ways, Swamp Fire. So scaling looks pretty good there. Swamp Fire isn't a super tall alien, um, so the scaling there is pretty decent. Articulation on Swamp Fire. His head does go 360. He's got the 360 shoulder. And then just like I said, we got more of the elbow joints. So the elbows do move up and down, more more so up than down, but they do move. And then the hips go about that far back. And then they go pretty far forward, about 90 degrees there. And then he's got the knee joint. And then that's it for the legs. And that's actually it for all of articulation on this guy. Once again, pretty darn basic, nothing special. Typical articulation. Um, elbow joints are a nice addition, but that is more typical for this wave of figurines. So paint and detailing, um, I'll just start off right off the bat with one weird thing. You can see this uh, part of his shoulder here is painted black. They did not paint it over here. <laughs> um, the, that shoulder is not black and then he's supposed to have the same black painted on his neck. They just completely did not paint that and it could be a defect with my figurine. It seems odd that they would paint just the one side and not these other two parts. So it makes me think maybe it's a defect with my figurine. Um, I'll look into that and provide a picture later in the review. All those little leaves and stuff on them, they got sculpted. Omnitrix symbol, big in front there, right in the center. And his face. All this detail on his face, like the mouth and the eyes are just painted on. No, that's actually sculpted. But the head is uh, sculpted really nice. Uh, all the, um, you know, the spikes on his head. Those all look really good. Come down, look at his toes. They did get lazy in the back here. They did not paint these back parts black. Um, that, I'm sure, was intentional. They just didn't bother to do it. Um, unlike this, where I, I don't know if that was intentional or not. But they did paint the front and the sides black. They were just missing the back there. Swampfire is a cool alien, honestly. I mean, a lot of the times he kind of gets ripped on for being a heat blast copy or like a heat blast wild vine copy. Um, but I mean, I think he's very cool in his own right. And he's definitely, probably along with like Humongosaur, he's definitely the face of Alien Force. Um, super, super popular alien. But, uh,. You know, I, I think he deserves more respect than he gets, I guess, because he's he's really more than just a heat blast copy, in my opinion. So the next guy we're going to take a look at is Echo Echo. Whoop. Swamp fire down. Okay. So once again, scaling looks pretty good. Um, these first two figurines are decent on the scaling, I will say... Uh, the further we get into Alien Force, Ultimate and then even Omniverse, the scaling really starts to lack. Like, they kind of just threw scaling out the window and said forget it. But we'll get on to that. So, Echo Echo is probably my personal favorite from Alien Force. Of the ten aliens that Ben starts with an Alien Force, I'd have to say Echo Echo is my favorite. Um, probably up there close with Big Chill and Goop. Uh, those are probably my top three of Alien Force. So Echo Echo, now he does have 
a 360 head swivel. Um, so I'll just show you. Technically it does go all the way around, but as you just saw, um, this backpack here is actually connected to his head. Um, it does clip into his back so it can come out, but it's not like a completely separate piece because even though it comes out of his back, it is still connected to his head. Uh, so for realism's sake, you know, he should really only be able to turn his head about that far um, if they were articulating it correctly. Um, but because that does come out, he can turn the head 360. You're just bringing this piece along with you. <laughs> so if that was actually connected to his back like it should be, then like I said, you'd really only get about that much movement in the head. And then moving on to the arms. So these are 360. They're, they can go all the way around. But his head's so big, you're, you're going to come up and be blocked by that. So unless you like move his head out of the way and then turn them, uh, they are kind of hindered. And that's it in the arms. Uh, he does not have that elbow articulation, no wrist articulation. Um, nothing else in the arms. They're just solid pieces. Hips. So they go back and they go forward, knee joint, back and forward, and that's it for articulation. Paint and detail, uh, I mean it looks good but there's not much to get wrong with this guy. He's basically completely one color, um, but they did it well. You can see in his mouth the rings of his mouth. All the like the sculpting in there, you can just make that out on the camera. Uh, this line going down the center of his body actually is sculpted, and that goes all the way. And this little backpack back here looks pretty good. It's kind of hard to get to stay in there a lot of times, it doesn't even actually go in, but it does push in there. There you go. And this 10 on the back, I want to say that the center of that 0 should not be colored in green. I can't remember for sure, but I'm pretty sure that was not, that, that should be black. So that's a little paint de detailing there they, they made a mistake on. He's got the circle circular bumps on his arms, sculpted and painted well. His little fingers. And then he's got these on the side of his legs. There's his uh, little headphone slash earmuffs on his on the side of his head. And the eyes are, are sculpted, they're not just painted on. You can even see some sculpting on the eyelids. And then the next guy and last one for this review is Humongousaur everybody's favorite or at least Ben's favorite as we all know this is the alien that Ben loves to turn into or at least try to turn into he doesn't always get him but this is kind of what I'm talking about on the scaling that kind of starts to lack with these alien force figures um, obviously Humongousaur should probably be a bit taller than that he kind of looks small in my opinion um, I don't even think he's as tall as the forearms figure from the original series wave. Um, they could have at least made him that big, but he's just a little too small in my opinion for Humongosaur. Let's get Echo Echo out of there and move on to Humongosaur. So he does not have any articulation in the head. This neck and his head are all one solid piece. Nothing turns there. Now the arms do the 360 and then he does have that elbow joint. I just think it's cool that they really kind of standardize that elbow joint for these figures. That's one thing that they improved upon from the original series figurines is they gave these an extra point of articulation. But the arms do go around and then he's got the elbow and then nothing else in the arms, no, uh, no wrist joints or anything. Which the wrist joints, I mean, we've probably only seen that two or three times maybe in all these figurines I've taken a look at. 
so it's more common to not see it than it is to see it. And then his legs, just one point of articulation here at the hips, they go up about that far. And then they don't go back a whole lot. Pretty stiff right there. They don't move much. Uh, but nothing else. Nothing in the knees and the ankles. Not a whole lot going on there in the legs. And then he does have some tail articulation, I believe. Well, maybe not. It looks like he should. It's not like totally connected there, but that is not moving. So that's kind of disappointing. I mean, they could have uh, thrown that in there to make up for lack of articulation in the head and legs. But it does look like that is just one solid piece there, not going to move. So not much articulation in this boy. He does have the elbow joints, but now that that's kind of become standard, it's, uh, you know, not a whole, not nothing too special. So, paint and detailing looks pretty good. Face is sculpted nicely. You can see the lines in his lips, the creases there. His nose is sculpted. The eyes look really good. That's some nice detail in the eyes. The raised eyebrow and all the lines and wrinkles in his his face and you can see the even the eyelids were sculpted there so that actually looks really nice they got his cheekbones sticking out looks just as good on the other side and they've of course got all his muscles sculpted very well you can see all those in his neck and his uh like eight pack he has going on there <laughs> muscles in the arms, all the lines and detailing in the arms, that's all sculpted and actually indented. He's got some sculpting on the back there with the shoulder blades and more neck muscles. He does have a bit of detailing there on the tail. It's very, very faint, but he does have some lines in the tail. And there's the legs. He does have some detailing there. You can see his toenails are sculpted well. And they actually got the fingernails. You can see they sculpted some fingernails on his fingers. Which the character actually does have, so that's a nice touch. But yeah, I, I would definitely say the sculpt and paint job on this guy is much better than the articulation. So that's it for this review. Let me get everybody back up here. Alright, and that concludes my first review for Alien Force Aliens. Uh, moving on, I, in my next video I will be talking about Jet Ray, Big Chill, Chromastone, and Brainstorm. Uh, I'm looking forward to that one. I do really like Big Chill. So keep an eye out for that video. I should have it up here in a few days. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.